Back on the boot fair hunt, doing a Wednesday one this morning. It's one I went, used to go to a couple of years ago, but it wasn't that great. Um, but it's worth checking out, see what it's like, especially on a Wednesday. They do Wednesday and Sunday, and I think I went on a Sunday once, and it just wasn't all that. So, um, yeah, worth checking out whether it's got any better. And uh, I need the stock, not doing anything else, so I might as well get down there, see what I got. Well, it ain't too bad here, actually. A little better than two years ago. I said to the guy on the... Um, door that I haven't been for two years and he said why not and I said because it was crap um, but yeah there's a lot of stalls I've been around uh, once already got quite a bit of stuff this is like Rose Hill area sounds lovely roses and Rose Hill but uh, it's not how it sounds but like that but uh, yeah there's a good few dealers here and like for a Wednesday ain't half bad really I'll show you some bits when I get in Right, that's all done and dusted. That's uh, St Heli Hospital over there. I'll zoom in a little bit. That's, uh, I was born there, but my kids were born there. Right, I thought I'd do this while I'm here and go through what I've got. So, pointless, new and sealed, uh, two quid. And then um, I've got this ham radio which i've never sold anything like this a solder sucker some solder and a file <laughs> this is really this is for me really the solder sucker and the solder but the i'll see what the ham radio does that was a tenner uh, i've got this brother label printer which i always like to pick up these label printers that was two quid and then i've got these two games the getaway and a need for speed there's two PS Slims, no power supply, looks like one of them's got a TV lead, um, a PS2 controller, PS1 controller and a PS3 controller, a uh, wireless SingStar mic and a Nintendo DS, again all unchecked, could be broken. There is a power supply with the... Um, one of the playstations but it's six it's 7.5 volts and i think they take 8.5 i'm not too sure um so all of that was 27 quid so it's a bit of a i suppose a bit of a chance but i mean if one of these things is okay i think that'll be like 20 quid back so at least you know if one of the controllers is all right probably 15 if the ds is all right that's probably like 20 plus and my god this i don't know why i got this that was two pound 50 as part of a um a goblin um tea's made um so it's only speakers over a quid which is all right uh the another one of these controllers extreme controllers logitech like you know for flight simulators i think that was three quid this Olympus AF10, which is really beat up, that was two quid. I was offering him a quid, but he wasn't having that. Uh, the Philips boombox and the lightsaber were a fiver. Um, that'd be good if the Philips works, I think. Um, and then these shoes, these are the first things I bought, these look well nice. James the Bootmaker. A pair of Barker, I've not heard of them, but they're English made. And a pair of Jeff Banks, kind of like patent leather or patent. Faux leather, three, three pairs over 20 quid. Uh, so that was my first walk round, and then I've just bought. Oh my god! Right, a Smith Corona typewriter box, which is handy, that was eight. Um, I've got a Roberts DAB clock radio, which was four. Um, buggy board that's um what i called a last cow buggy board that was two quid and then a whole load of stuff from a guy another getaway by city but it's part of the double pack uh, oh that's the other part of the double pack that's handy gta3 sim star harry Potter. Uh, Guitar Hero, Lord of the Rings, did I get all these? Yeah, okay, and some Wii U games, Raymond Legends, Splatoon, Mario Bros. Uh, 
Mario Land 2, the Game Boy, Dreamcast controller, and I think all that was 20 quid. I paid 15 for this first off, and then I've got the PS2 games and gave them the fiver back that I got in change. Um, is that right? I think that's right. Uh, yeah. Then I got this Xbox wireless controller, Xbox One wireless controller. That was a fiver. No, that was three quid. That was three quid, but it hasn't got the battery in. So I don't know. I don't know if they take normal batteries. Oh, I've got one at home actually, so I'll have a look. Yeah, normal 1.5. Sorry, the filming's all over the place. And then uh, that was that was three, and then a load of guns. I don't think there's anything particularly great here. I'm not good on games. So it's just loads of UMDs. So uh, and that was a fiver, so it's a Stoles Lego that might be alright. FIFA. There's a Star Wars Droid Army Game Boy Advance. They look a little bit beat up. Worms, I don't know if Worms is worth any money. Burnout. And uh, Mod Nation Races. So that was a fiver, yeah, I got that with that Xbox One controller. And then um, these were 50p each. There's a Blau Plunk remote control, Sony TV, sort of standard remote control, that'll be about a tenner maybe, and a Sony video. So I don't know if there's be any demand for those, but at least they're small. And then um, a PS1 Slim. I can't remember how much I paid for this, <laughs> which is, um, God, and they're terrible when you don't know. Not more than a fiver. I'm going to say four quid, I think. Now, maybe I paid a fiver for it. I think I might have paid a fiver for it. So there we go. That is filled the boot. And not bad for a Wednesday, really. Um, Again, no real... I mean, this ham radio might be worth money. I have no idea. And the shoes, I think, are probably one of the best pickups. Um, nice to have the box for that. And the Wii U games, I think, will be quite nice. Um, and some of the stuff, if it works, like, you know, those PS2 Slims. Um, I need to get a power supply. I've just sold one, actually, like a, a bundle, so I haven't got a power supply for that. Uh, but yeah, all right for a Wednesday. Uh, yeah, the speakers were good for a quid. They're, they're going for about 20 quid. So yeah, it's time to go home and have a cup of tea. Uh, cheers for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, but if you don't want to, fair enough. Um, but yeah, that was that was. It's called the, uh, the Sutton Car Boot Sale, and I think it's been up at Crystal Palace for a bit. But it's returned to Rose Hill, and um, just nice to get out on a Wednesday and get all that stuff in. They'll go in quarantine now, um, so I'll be listing it in about three days time. See you later. Remembered how much? I just remembered how much that um, PS One cost. It was three quid, and. Um, I've got one for sale at the moment for a £10 plus postage and I've had a couple of offers for £6.51 which is sort of £10 including the postage. So um, I know I can get like six quid if it's for parts. If if um, if it does work um, I guess I can get up to about 20 quid for it. Um, but like I said I don't think it had a power lead but I can list it without a power lead. Um, so there you go, we're going to get in, have a shower, well, put the stuff, uh, put the stuff away in quarantine and get in, have a shower and change your clothes and then I've got to go down to the post office, so I've got to mask up again. So that'll be interesting, It'll be a different mask because we have about three on the go, or well, three available. Um, new set of gloves and uh, then get back, hopefully for a bit of lunch and... Um, do some listing, do some listing of the stuff I've got on Sunday. So yeah, there we go, that's your lot. Um, this is extra bonus content. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, see you later.